Good afternoon, Kenny Moore. How are you doing, Ingram? Thank you so much for talking to Bayloric Worldwide Television. Thank you for having me. So before we start the interview and really get into what you're all about, let the viewers know who you are. Well, I'm Brian Kenneth Moore. I'm the author of the newly released book, The Making of a Child of Destiny, the Andretta Tillman story. Um, former manager, along with Andretta, uh, of Girls' Time and ultimately Destiny Child, uh, along with Matthew Knowles. I've been in the uh, music industry for over, uh, now, about 25, 30 years. Um, been in technology for the last 20 years, so I've been uh, through a couple of my companies, been combining the two and uh, trying to revolutionize the world as far as um, getting new artists out there as far as uh, social media and things of that nature. Okay, so first let's talk about Kenny Moore, or Brian Kenny Moore, whichever way you want me to pronounce it. Um, let's talk about how you got to the point of working with Destiny Child. Let's, let's, let's take it back a bit before we get to that point. Let's okay. talk about how you got into the music industry. First well, I'm, a, I'm originally from Greenwood, Mississippi, uh, born in Buffalo, New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, while growing up in Greenwood, you know, it's the blues capital of the world. Uh, you know, we have uh, just a few miles away. It's B.B. King. You know, we have Sam Cooke was started there, Ike Turner and people like that. So music was always around us. And uh, I had the privilege of, you know, when I used to leave football practice, of walking past a, a barbecue stand, and the guy name was uh, Willie Cobbs. And Willie Cobb was the original writer and creator of the song C.C. Rider. But we used to always see people like Elvis Presley and uh, Carl Perkins on TV singing it, <clears throat> singing this song uh, on Saturday. And he would always say, that's my song, that's my song. And, and I was always curious to, you know, why this cat – you know, I always said that was his song. So then one day I did have the pleasure of talking with him, and he was explaining that they stole his royalties, his his, his uh, ownership of the song. So I became very interested in the back, behind the scene of music, you know, because I was a singer, coming from a family of singers, uh, excuse me, uh, as well as uh, preachers. And so uh, from there, I, I just started in the music industry. Uh, at like 16, I formed my first group. Uh, we had a group called the Touch of Class, and we were a hot little uh, local band. We opened up for like the likes of Tyrone De Davis, Denise LaSalle, and the Bar Uh Then from there, uh, I continued singing through, the, uh, through my college years, and then I went to the military and sung uh, there at several talent shows. So uh, music was always part of it. I was in Korea, formed a band called, uh, joined a band called Black Satin over there. And then from there, when I left the military, after I left Korea, I moved to Houston. And when I moved to Houston, uh, my uh, fiance and but now wife was friends with a guy named Troy Peebles, who was a the keyboard, the bass keyboard player for Yarbrough and Peebles and uh, Charlie Wilson. So just so happened they were coming to town and Troy was like, hey, you know, we're going to be at this venue. Can you go check it out for us? And so I did, did the legwork for them, you know. And so when they came for the first show, they were very, you know, impressed with, you know, my thoroughness as far as uh, make sure everything was in place, everything was okay. Uh, then from there, uh, they were like, hey, anytime we come to Houston or whatever, you know, hey, you know, look out for us or, you know, if you want to travel with us. So I just basically did the Houston gigs. And so what happened um, we ha they had another big gig here uh, uh, with Charlie, with a Gap Band and Yorba and people. And so I barbecued. This is how uh, this, <laughs> I got to Destiny Child. I barbecued and I was like, okay, hey guys, you know, you know, brought the barbecue before the show, gave it to them. So Charlie Wilson and, and uh, Lois and Cave and Yarbrough and people, they was like, oh, man, we got to have some more, you know, after the show. I was like, I, you know, cooked a feast, you know. So they was like, OK, we're going to come to the house after the show. I'm like, OK, two o'clock in the morning after the concert. Yeah, right. So show ends. They say, OK, what we're going to do, we're going to head back to Dallas. No, they said, no, we're going to get some of that barbecue. So I take off and I run home. We, at the time, we were at an apartment. So I got home and woke all my friends up in the apartment complex. Hey, you know, Charlie Wilson and the Gap Band they, and uh, Yarbrough people, they're on their way here. So I need y'all to help me, you know, prepare the food and, uh, you know, get the dishes ready. So uh, all of a sudden, two big uh, tour bus pulled up in front of the apartment complex. And you would have thought it was the 4th of July because everybody at 3 in the morning they're up you know bringing drinks and make sure everything was uh, good so after that uh, at that time there was um, my fiance my wife's friend at the time he was there and he was from Dallas excuse me 
he's from Dallas and he saw all this. And then his cousin was a friend. His cousin was a member of the group Taste, in which Andretta Tillman was managing. Right. So Charles Foley asked and said, uh, and right now Charles is a big time uh, fashion designer or stylist. Okay. So he uh, he he asked me, hey, would you meet with this lady because my cousin them need help? Uh, she need help managing my cousin. And I said, sure. So I go meet, and that was the first time I met Andretta. And uh, from there, from from the first time we met, we were like, okay, you know, something about you, something about you, and we just hit it off. And then from there, she asked me to help manage Taste, which I agreed to. And as I started to help manage Taste, she said, well, I got a couple of other acts, you know, and I really needed you to help me with, you know, the one I think is more promising is this girls group I have. I said, okay. And then she said, their name's Girl Time. I said, okay. You know, so finally I went and met them. First time I ever met uh, Beyonce, it was Kelly, it was Nikki and then Nina, who were the dancers that ended up uh, leaving the group first, Latavia and uh, Ashley Davis uh, at the time. It was not uh, Latoya at the time. Uh, 